Lake Dardanelle Bass Open Series Day 2. Let's jump into it. Alright, so with day one in the books for day two of the Bass Open Series on Lake Dardanelle, I decided to go back where I started on day one, except this time I invited a buddy, uh, Ryan Lambert. If you guys watch the Kayak Bass Nation podcast, He's my podcast partner in crime over there, and he is, or was, right on the verge of getting into the TOC, the year-end championship for the Bass Open Series, and he needed a limit uh, for sure to have a chance, and a pretty good one probably. He only had four fish on day one, so he needed a pretty good limit on day two. I thought he could get a good quick limit off my spot, you know, get around 70 inches and then go try to cull from there. So I invited him at, at dinner the night before to come fish with me, and as it goes, it is hard to catch other people's fish. It didn't work out for him. You'll see in the, in the beginning of the video we do here of uh, the actual fishing footage. But not, not only did he not catch them, and it was because the conditions changed. I didn't catch them early in the morning either on moving baits like I was. But we'll go through that in the fishing footage. Let's get into that right now. Got launched into my spot, just waiting on my buddy Ryan to show up. Right in the nick of time. Yep. <laughs> Man, I got I got bit on, oh it's six thirty. I got bit on moving stuff first yesterday all day. So you said oh it's six thirty. <laughs> there you go. We talking football, son. I ain't gonna I'm gonna let you fish. I'm gonna go down this way a little bit. My man, you trying to get TOC points? I'm just out here dicking around for a few hours. <laughs> I reckon if I'd busted eighty something, I could get up in that top twenty five. Yeah, mean, that's true. Yeah. Start carrying you a uh, passport with a rope attached to it or something. I took the whole summer. Yeah. I took the whole summer off, so I only had four events on the books, and I had to get two more to meet my obligation. So. I'm pretty sure that's our state, but I'm not going to swear to it. It's ours too. Well, she volunteered to run. I think she volunteered to run for you. And he's on our state team. hooked up with one. Ryan and I were sitting there visiting. And this one actually looked like a keeper. I was excited to get in the boat, get it on the board, and even if it was just barely past the, the keeper mark. I don't know if that one's going to hit it either. Damn. Get my day going there. It did hit it. Twelve and a quarter. We're off and running. Well, we'll say this. It's the first time we got to fish together. So yeah. Good stuff. It's been good to visit, even though we ain't catching them. Yeah. Grandfather, you got to start thinking positive. I'm on, quality time. I'm, I'm on borrowed time, dude. I got to enjoy every moment. <laughs> Not quite in the fourth quarter, but I'm deep in the second half, you know. <laughs> I'll run down that way and turn around and come back this way. Right. I'm going to run down there and work back this way. So Ryan and I parted ways. I'll let y'all sit in on our conversation there. And I decided to run down to the main boat ramp at the state park and see if I could catch some retreads just to get a semblance of a limit going. Now there's some riprap coming out of there. Pulled out the trusty Ned rig, decided to throw it by a little grass, pat grass patch sticking off the end of the riprap. It wasn't long before I got hooked up. And 
this one tipped me off to something, which was there were still fish around grass and, and this rock, this riprap, but they weren't chasing anything. And it made me think of, of the area I was fishing. Maybe I was just fishing too fast on that spinnerbait square bill instead of slowing down around it. Got this one in the boat, fish number two for my limit of the day. Uh, much later in the morning already than it was the day before, but still glad to have it. So two fish, 26 inches, three more to get my limit. It's probably mid-morning at this point. You see the sun getting up over those trees there. Fished around this area some more. Even I saw some schoolers popping up by these buoys. Threw a little top water over there, and you can see some fish popping at the top water, but that looked to be little Kentuckys or little whites or something. They wouldn't eat it. So after seeing that fish eat that Ned Rig by the grass, I decided to fish my way back down to where I started and get up in the bank grass that I was throwing a spinnerbait and square bill around and start flipping some soft plastics. Got bit just oh, a couple minutes into doing it. Fixed my bait and I flipped right back into that same spot. Bam, hooked up. I think it's Ike and Ellie I heard one time say, you know, you don't have a pattern until you have two. And this is the second fish doing, you know, flipping up something slow moving, bottom bouncing by the grass. Two fish, so now I think I'm on to something. Get this one measured up. Got three fish, 39 and a half inches. It's not much, but I know Dardanelle's fishing tough, so I know if I could just get a limit, I would make somewhat of a move. Uh, so started flipping around this grass again. Every little opening, every little point, every little different spot. Then I came on this area where the trees were throwing some shade in there on top of the grass. And there was a gap between the bank and the back edge or the inside edge, edge of the grass. And I threw my bait over there in that, in that blank spot. And I mean one walloped it. And I was able to pull it up over top of the grass. Get it to the boat for fish number four right here. And this was better quality. One thing I love about the PDL, you can sit down and back up without ever using your hands and back off your target. 16 incher, sitting up at the number mid four, 50s. In behind the grass. That's right, number four behind the grass. Yeah, this deal right here, dude, they were. You can see how you're probably sitting in like 15 feet right there. Yeah. So it goes up to like eight, six, eight feet on top of that little mouth. Right. And it's rocky up there. I got a square bill out and just right here and here and had five in 30 minutes. And then that quit. I came back this morning and I thought, well, I'll do it again. And I left. I left after about an hour and thought I'll come back today and get another limit. Yeah. That's Justin Patrick, really happen. good angler out of Tennessee. But I slowed down and started just flipping this grass and I caught a 16 and a 14, bam, bam. So if I can just squeeze out one more 12, I'll take my five and go home. I lost a real big one up around the corner. There's some grass like this yesterday on a chatterbait. Scared me to death. Took the right out of my hand for a second. You never, you ever have that where you're at the end of your cast and you're kind of not paying attention? Yeah. And it just said. Yeah, and it's like it just jerked it down and didn't get a good look set, but I saw it. It was a good one. But you know what? That's a typical fish story. Oh shit! There was one. Yeah, you are talking to Mr. <laughs> yeah. No, Justin's a good dude. Uh, <laughs> glad to miss with him for a minute. Went back to where I caught that 16. It was probably been 15, 20 minutes. Thought, heck, I'll flip back in there one more time and, and see if I can get another bite. It's kind of a unique spot because there was some shade and stuff in there uh, on top of being a good grass spot next to some deeper water. I flipped back in there and hooked up again and jerked another one over top of that grass. Let's go. Pretty excited about that one. That's number five. Always That's excited to get a limit. First fish and fifth fish are always the most exciting of the day to me. There you go. 71 and a half inches, another 16. Number five. I stayed in the area a little bit more and kept flipping that, that grass, but between the day before and today, and also knowing this is probably kind of a community hole, I thought I'd milked it for all it was worth, and I didn't think the quality was in here. 
So I didn't fish this too much longer and decided to go ahead and make a move around the corner to that other channel bank I fished on day one that I caught better fish in practice and hoped I could get a cull or two. I saw this one little patch of grass and decided to stop and dob around here on the way. And that paid off. Hooked up, drug one out of, out of that little grass edge and just nothing. I mean, it was a foot deep there. No, it wasn't a channel bank, but hey, fish is a fish. So it wasn't much of a coal, but it was a coal. Got me up to 72 inches, 12 and three quarter fish. Got rid of the 12 and a quarter. And now we've got I don't know, a handful of hours left in the day. I know where some other grass is that, that looks really good. So I thought I'll swing by, swing to that, those spots, throw the same bait I've been throwing in this other grassy areas and I should get at least one more fish out of it. You know, one more keeper fish. This area was just like where I caught my two better fish. It had a blank spot with no grass behind the ground, the inside edge of the grass with shade on it. So when I came up on this, I thought, oh, this, this feels good and it was on a point channel swinging by i threw back in there and a bait went sideways uh, one ran with it just didn't get it swung the boat around and threw back in there this time got the traditional thump set the hook and it got wrapped up in some grass and i had to go get it fish came off so I kind of, as you can see, I kind of floated up in there and messed my spot up. So I left there with a plan to come back for the last 30 minutes, 45 minutes of the day and fish it again. Hopefully those fish reset and I can get one. Here was another chance at the call. I actually saw this one when I set the hook and kind of rolled on it, but he got in the grass and came off. It would have probably been a three inch call or so. And then coming back at the end of the day, my worst nightmare, I see somebody in my spot where I caught one. It was Brian Howe. I actually gave him a tip. He was need number five because he was hunting TOC points. I said, man, start flipping grass. I just didn't know he was going to flip my grass. Did you catch one in there? Is it a good one? 17 and a half. Huh? 17 and a half. Yeah. Thanks for the heads up on the worm bite. So I came by here and flipped in there. And one, I had one, you know, bite it pretty good. It was over there behind you. And uh, he ran with it. I missed it and I was gonna come back. Then I saw you in there. I said, "Oh, damn! Let Brian call one in there." You catch it in there or over there? Like right here. Okay. Yeah. Like you go one. yeah. Like right there, I'm glad you got him. I'm very glad I got him. That's like a five and a half inch call from me. Got rid of my twelve. Hell yeah. There it is, guys. 72 inches. Couldn't call again. Heading to the ramp. All right. So there you go. I made the climb into. Almost the top 30 at the end of day two. But at one point during the day on day two, I was up in, in uh, 13th place, all the way to 13th place. But I never could get that big kicker, that day one fish that you guys saw on the day one video. If I landed that one, I would have been in the money, just, just inside the money cut at, at number 15. I'd have been somewhere in the 12 to 15 range. But, you know, what's the saying? If ifs and buts were candy and nuts, uh, it didn't happen. I lost it. And there were other people that lost fish too, I'm sure. That's just part of fishing. Um, but overall, two limits in two days on a very tough Dardanelle. I finished right in the mix with a bunch of other really good anglers. Uh, 31 out of almost 150 anglers there. Can't be mad at it. Back after a summer break from tournament fishing. Up next is Pickwick. If you're going to Lake Pickwick for the Bass uh, Bassmaster Kayak Series, let me know in the comments. I'd love to, to holler at you there. Maybe we can hang out and grab a beer or a burger or something. But I'm back in the tournament groove. Dardanelle's in the books. On to Pickwick. Appreciate y'all watching.